three central midfielders that Manchester United should look to sign in January. In this video I'll be analysing three realistic central midfield options that I think Manchester United should look to pursue in this January transfer window. At the end of the video I'll give my verdict on which of the three would be my number one target so keep watching to see that. But before this video starts make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get notified when we upload a video and check out some of our previous uploads as well including our video analysing how Diego Simeone is tactically reinventing Atletico Madrid for our statistical comparison of Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial as centre forwards. Both videos will be linked in the eye above and in the description below. It doesn't take a genius to tell you that Manchester United are struggling at the start of this season with just 9 points from 8 games languishing in 12th place and being closer to the relegation zone than they are to 3rd place Leicester. The main criticism of Solskjaer's side has been the lack of creativity in the attack, having only scored 9 goals in 8 games in the Premier League, which is one less than Burnley. The fundamental issue that is causing this lack of offensive output is a lack of on-the-ball ability in midfield. Players like Mata, Lingard and Pereira offer nothing in the attack and seem devoid of any vision or passing ability. Daniel James is rather one-dimensional, capable of scoring from outside the box, but other than running down the line and putting in a mediocre cross, he doesn't really contribute any other form of attacking output. Pogba is the side's most creative player, but is forced to play in a deep line midfield position because of the other alternatives and cannot create much of substance due to the entire lack of movement ahead of him. Whilst McTominay is a solid player, he's more of a ball winner than a playmaker and lacks the required vision and passing ability to play incisive passes into the final third. Matic and Fred are lethargic in possession and really shouldn't be anywhere near the starting eleven. With all of this, it's clear that United need one or probably two new central midfielders who have the athleticism and creativity that United currently lack. Even though players like Thomas Partey, Marcelo Brozovic and Fabian Ruiz would be exceptional options, they aren't going to be available in January, so I've ruled them out to go for some more realistic options. The first player that Manchester United should be looking to make a move for in January is Fiorentina's Chilean centre midfielder Eric Polgar. Pogba is 25 and will be 26 in January and was signed by Fiorentina this summer from Bologna for around £8 million. Pogba is a deep line playmaker who would add creativity to the base of Manchester United's midfield. In Serie A this season he has created the most key passes of any player with 3.4 per game. Last season at Bologna he created the second most key passes of any central midfielder with 2.3 per game. He is excellent at playing long passes from deep positions over the top of a fullback for a winger to run onto. When he's around the box, he also has the ability to play short incisive passes in behind the back line, which suits attacking players who are good at making short, sharp movements around the box. This skill set is a much needed element in the Manchester United midfield with only Pogba possessing this level of long and short passing ability and of course the vision needed to see these opportunities. Defensively, Pogba is also very good. He's a combative midfielder who is exceptional at making recovery sliding tackles when the opposition midfielders are dribbling at the back line in behind the midfield. Polga has the athleticism to get back at a player before having the tackling technique to execute the tackle and stop the attack. This can be seen as he's made the sixth most tackles of any central midfielder in the league with 2.9 per game, whilst recording 2.4 per game last season. He's a very good reader of the game, able to cut out passes with interceptions, which is seen as he's completed the seventh most interceptions of any central midfielder with 1.8 per game last season and would suit a high pressing system as these defensive attributes would allow him to win the ball back high up the pitch. He'd cost around £30 million to sign this January, which for a 26-year-old coming into his prime would be great value, and he'd improved the United midfield significantly, both creatively and defensively. The second central midfield option that Manchester United should pursue this January is Ajax's Frankie de Jong replacement, Argentine Sandro Martinez. Martinez is 21 and will be 22 in January, and was signed from the Argentine Primera Division where he played mostly as a ball-playing centre-back. Since being in Amsterdam, he has moved further forward into a register position, playing in a double pivot alongside Edison Alvarez. This is probably due to his lack of height as he's only 5 foot 10 so could struggle airily in Europe, yet does have the ball playing ability to play in midfield. Martinez's best attribute is his long range passing ability. Playing at the base of Ajax's midfield, he's tasked with switching the ball out to the flanks via a long range Hollywood pass, which he's exceptional at. This can be seen as he's completed the third most accurate long passes of any central midfielder in the Eredivisie this season with 5.6 per game. Martinez is a very good reader of the game like Polga is, which is shown with the fact that he's completed the fifth most interceptions of any central midfielder in the league with 2.2 per game. When a pass is played into an opposition attacker, Martinez is always ball-like in his attempts to make the interception or make a tackle on the player, which can lead to him giving away fouls, but it's this tenacity that Manchester United currently lack in the centre of the park. 
Martinez is also very versatile, able to play as a ball playing centre back in a back two or in a back three on the left side and could even fill the role of an inverted wing back. This is certainly a trait that Polgo doesn't have so it does mean that Martinez could be more suited to a manager who has a very fluid philosophy like a Julian Nagelsmann or a Jorge Sampaoli should Solskjaer be replaced. Martinez isn't as creative in advanced areas as Pogo is as he's only made 0.5 key passes per game this season so wouldn't solve United's creative issues further up the pitch but he would enable United to transition the ball more often into the final third thereby making him a central creator of the attack. Martinez was signed this summer for around £5 million so if United did make a move for him in January he'd probably cost around £25 to £30 million considering Ajax don't usually hold out for a massive fee for their players particularly for players who will make a significant profit on in just six months. The third player that should be on Manchester United's list to pursue this January is probably the most audacious of the three options as it's Leon's Hussam Awar. Awar is a different sort of central midfielder to the other two options with Polgar and Martinez being more reducer type players. Awar is considered more of a roaming playmaker or a Metzala. This is because he lacks a move up the pitch into more advanced areas than the other two looking to link with the forward line and make runs into the box. Awa is a lot more press resistant than the other two, able to receive the ball under pressure, turn and dribble out of the press which is fantastic for a side that plays a possession oriented style, looking to build out from the back even under intense pressure. Awa's dribbling ability can be seen as he's completed the most dribbles of any central midfielder in Liga this season with 2.9 per game and last season completed the 6th most with 1.6 per game. Awa is similar to Iniesta in many ways, he has the same ability to play short sharp passes around a press as well as a great close control dribbling ability accompanied by the positional sense to make moves into the half space on the left side where he can link with the left winger and left back. Despite his phenomenal technical ability, Awa also has the necessary qualities to play in a midfield double pivot. He doesn't shy away from making tackles and is a fairly good reader of the game. He isn't as good in terms of tackling or making interceptions as Martinez or Polgar, but he is far more press resistant, a better dribbler and more suited to a short passing style in the middle of the pitch. Awa doesn't have the same chance creating output that Polgar does, creating a still decent 1.2 key passes per game last season in the league, but not quite at Polgar's level of output. Awa is probably most suited to playing on the left of a midfield three or in a midfield diamond, but could play in a midfield double pivot alongside a ball winner like McTominay as well. Awa only turned 21 in June so does have youth and time to improve which Polgar aged 25 doesn't have. Awa does have the most potential in terms of turning into a world class central midfielder and it is very hard to find central midfielders who are excellent dribblers as well as being very good in all other departments like Awa is. This is why he'd be the most expensive and United might face competition from other big clubs in better positions than them but if United can agree a deal early the fee would probably range from 60 to 70 million pounds. So out of these three options, who do I think Manchester United should sign if they can in January? My pick would be Eric Polgar as I think he's the best out of the three at creating chances when playing in that deep line midfield position which is the biggest thing that United need at the moment with McTominay lacking vision and passing ability whilst Fred and Matic are far too lethargic and safe with their passes and Pogba needs to be playing further forward which with the arrival of Polgar would allow. Polgar's £30 million estimated cost is reasonable for United and Fiorentina are a club that should be willing to sell in January. Awa would be a great signing but I feel that at the moment Polgar is more of an all round deep line playmaker which is what this young United squad needs. Lissandro Martinez is also very raw and has been in Europe just a few months so bringing him straight into the side in January may mean he needs a few months to adjust which would negate the point of a January signing where you want them to have an instant impact. Despite it seeming obvious that United need recruitments in the central midfield area, it's still in question whether the board and even Oli himself will that they need to make a move in the transfer window for a player like the three that I have given as options. Whilst Woodward sees the summer transfer window as being a success, the fans, players, pundits and even maybe the manager feel it was underwhelming at best and a disaster at worst, so I wouldn't back on any players being recruited in January, let alone any of these three. Thank you for watching, remember to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also check out some of our previous uploads, you can see them on the screen here. Diego Simeone's tactical reinvention of Atletico Madrid and the tactical analysis of Antonio Conte's 5-3-2 system at Inter Milan. And as always give this video a like if you enjoyed it and comment some suggestions for videos that you'd like to see in the future in the comment section below.